everyone or good morning wherever you are today's video i'm gonna be doing a lamb roast so guess what guys you're gonna be joining me around the back so here we go let's go to the back and guess what i forgot you can follow me subscriber then thank you for coming with me this far thank you so much thank you lamb leg that I'm gonna be seasoning. I'm gonna wash it up first and then get back to you guys in a few minutes. So, be so I'm gonna be doing making up my seasoning in this um, processor. So, I'm gonna be using ginger, thyme, scallion. I'm gonna be using this onion along with purple one that's inside here already so I'm gonna be rinsing off my time and then getting back to you guys you guys I'm gonna be adding some garlic in there Wiping off the dish a little. So, guys, I'm going to be grounding some pimento seed. Not much, but a little. And then I'm gonna be adding that on the meat. It's gonna be a little bit of noise. I'm sure you can see the pimento ground inside of it. So I'm gonna be using this. It looks nice. Let me turn it around so you can see it. So I am going to be putting, of course, you know my all-purpose season all over this lamb leg all over I like it when my meat is well seasoned in. 
spread it so nice. Mm. I'm not gonna put too much salt, I'm gonna put some salt on it, but not too much. Because it's even have salt on it already. So. Guys, mm. so I'm gonna be putting the blended season on it. So, this is the season. Look at it. Look at that. What more can you ask for? Mm. I am going to be covering this meat and sticking it in the fridge until tomorrow when you're ready to. Maybe I'll do it in the oven, maybe I'll do it outside on a spit. I'm not sure. Thinking which one to use. So that's it guys. That's it. So we'll see you tomorrow when we're ready to cook this meat. So tonight is Friday night. Of course, you know, tomorrow is our day to upload the video, so this is what we are going to be uploading. A lamb leg. It was requested from Xavier Brown in Jamaica. So, Xavier, here is the lamb leg. Sorry, you're not close by to get some when it's finished. I'm putting on some water. I'm going to be cooking some potatoes, pumpkin, carrot half cook them and then I'm going to be taking them out and putting them outside to finish with the lamb leg so I'm going to be cutting up and peeling these off camera so I'll be with you in a second so I'm going to be putting the carrots in and the Irish potatoes and two pieces of pumpkin and then we're gonna be getting back to the lamb leg. So I'm gonna leave these to half cook. The lamb leg is out. I am going outside to pick some rosemary. And my rosemary in the garden. So I'm just gonna pick just a little piece of it. It's windy. Take it inside for Tony to use. Tony's gonna just cut that off. Just that. what he's gonna do well i'm gonna just try and work out the center because i don't want to flip flop with that bit because that's going to get cooked and this bit's not going to get that cooked so i've got to try and put the rod on a bit of an angle through the center of that big piece of the meat obviously without going through my hand as well I think it 
helps understanding a bit of maths. <laughs> All right, now I'll need the other end. the meat so that's good. I'll tighten that up and then I'm going to use a trick that somebody showed me a long time ago to add a bit more flavour inside. I get a really thin knife, stab it <laughs> and then slide some rosemary inside the meat. So as it cooks you'll get the flavour of the rosemary and I'll also do a little tiny shards of garlic to push them in there. a hole in the meat and poke these in the hole. Hopefully it works out because I am no chef. The only thing Gordon Ramsay and I have in common is we both like to swear but when it comes to cooking I'll leave it to him. for it. In you, in you go. Good boy. It's a bit tedious. So we'll have to come back when I've done a few more and then I'll show you the same process that I use when I put the rosemary in. That little bit that gets in just gives it a really nice flavour inside. The other bits will just burn off in the hole. So everything is half cooked. Yeah. They just so, softens them so when we roast them, they're nice on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Just like me. Hard on the outside, <laughs> soft on the inside. <laughs> I don't think so, but never mind. It's always good for laughs. Let's try it with the lamb leg. Oh. And that's what it's gonna be. Uh -huh. Looking like outside spinning. Spin it again, Tony. Nice. What's my name? Rotisserie? Yes. Look at that, it's growing some trees. <laughs> Growing rosemary trees. <laughs> nice. So guys, today we are going to do the lamb leg. So Tony's packing up all the, the little briquettes first. We've got a better bed of those in there, and then the, the real charcoal on the top. I'm going to spread some fire lighters out. The charcoal is up and running. Look at it. So I'm gonna be going back inside 
to put the pumpkin and the carrot and the Irish potato to cook partly, not full cook. Another hour's time, you won't be able to tell that rosemary, it'll just be burnt off because the heat there, oh, you didn't think it'd cook it from there, but it's really, oh, it's quite hot. But the beauty of this, you can take these pins out and lower it down mm. a bit. Yeah, you can lower it, it down. Cold, it. So guys, I'm going to be cutting the video and I'll get back to you when it's a bit, it got a bit of color on it. half done. Right. So thank you for staying with us. We'll be back with you in maybe half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. Half an hour. Everything inside, the rain is coming. So remove it under the veranda. The back veranda. Look how beautiful that looks. Lovely. Mm. So Tony is putting a bit more charcoal. Getting its color slowly but surely. I don't even know how good this smells. Mm -mm. Coming from the house, I could smell it. Look how pretty it looks. Mm -mm. I've wrapped up the end of the lamb leg in the foil and place it there on the grill. Take all the potatoes the and the food and put it into a foil tray. And now we are going I'm to going take to use it some heat, some free heat out on the place for the rotisserie and see if we can crisp them up a little. Wow. Look at this sizzle. So guys, I'm going to be brushing a little bit of um, marinade. Peace. You guys. Putting on some of this paste that I make up. See the paste?
Guys, look at it. Mm, pumpkin is looking pretty. Check the meat out. The lamb is nice and juicy. I'm gonna be painting it in another few minutes again. So I'll get back to you in that time. Add a little bit more sauce, so I've used a bit of this garlic minced, a bit of ketchup, and a little bit of um, ginger, brown ginger. So I'm gonna go back outside. Brushing this on. Everything is getting together now. and remove it so I get all the pluck the chicken yeah, like, <laughs> the looks, lamb. No, no. looks like a yeah, yeah, yeah but looks like a chicken that hadn't been plucked properly see mm -hmm. still on the outside so you've got the flavour there and the rosemary Take the meat off. So guys, I'm pouring out some gravy, so this is the end result, so guys thank you for watching, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, so here you have your lamb roast today, bye for now, see you in the next video.